Hey guys, let me ask you a question. Do you enjoy traveling? Is this something you'll wanna get paid to do? If so, just give me a couple of minutes because I'm about to open up your mind on how you can build a whole entire business doing this and get paid to travel whenever you want. You ready? Let's go. All right, so unless you've been living under a rock, you would know that we have been going through a pandemic. Now, it looks like things are finally getting to somewhat normalcy as they have lifted the mask mandates in my area and the numbers are drastically declining. So I am hoping and praying that we have seen the worst of this. Now, some people are just now starting to travel again and some people never stopped. Whichever one you are, it doesn't even matter. I just want you guys to know that you can make money traveling for years and years to come. And the way to do that is to start a travel blog. Now, no, you do not have to be an excellent writer to start a travel blog because I am one of the worst writers that I know, yet I still run a six-figure blog all by myself. Because when it comes to blogging, you write like you talk. You know, it's very conversational. This is something most people can do, and I have a whole step-by-step -step guide to help you get started in creating your blog. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is to do your research. That's step one. Now that I'm telling you to start a travel blog, you want to know what other travel blogs are out there. You know, you're going to want to know what social media platforms they're using, what kind of articles they're writing. You also want to just try and understand how they're making money. And I'm going to talk about that in a second, but you can do a quick Google search for travel bloggers just to get you started. Now, step two is to decide on a niche. Now, this will help give you purpose and help you build a core audience. So do you want your blog to be about traveling solo to help other solo travelers? Or do you wanna blog about traveling with your family to show other families what they can do and where they can go? Whatever it is, just think about it and let that be the reason you're doing what you're doing because the only way to make money blogging is by helping people. Step three is to create your website. Now I have a whole step-by-step -step guide like I mentioned that I'm gonna put in the description below so you guys can click on that, follow that along to get you started in creating your website. After you do that, the next thing you need to do is figure out how in the world are you gonna get traffic to your website? Now this is part of the way that I've been able to make six figures every year with my blog. And it's by finding out what people are searching for on Google. Yes, Google. This is important because everyone searches for everything on Google. Think about what pops up in the search results when you search for something. It's blog articles. And because I have many of my blog articles showing up in the search results, this is how I'm constantly getting traffic to my website and because I'm constantly getting traffic to my website, I'm constantly making money. Now the trick is finding out what people are searching for on Google so you can answer their questions through your blog articles. Now there are a couple of tools that you can use to do this, but I wanna show you a quick example in this video. So say for example, I wanted to go to Seattle. Now I need to be intentional about this in order to write my trip off on my taxes. And disclaimer, I am not an accountant, so definitely consult one about this but my understanding is that anything that you spend for your business is a business expense, also known as a tax write-off. And your blog is now your business. But back to my example. So say I want to go to Seattle. So I use this tool called KW Finder to see what I could possibly write about when I go to Seattle. So let's go to the computer so I can show you how this looks. All right, so here on KW Finder, I'm gonna put in things to do in Seattle just to get me started. All right, and I see that it's 51 out of 100, so this is gotta be very hard to rank for on Google, and 108,000 people search for this question every single month. So this is telling me that I should not write an article about this because it's gonna be too hard to rank on the first page of Google for this question. So what I like about this tool is that I can filter it by just pressing KD. Now KD stands for Keyword Difficulty. The easier the keyword, the better for you. So anything 29 and under is gonna be good for you. So you can see that red is hard. I don't wanna worry about anything hard, anything orange. So I wanna stay in this green area right here. So I wanna look at these questions right here. And I see that this has a nice search volume. It's 1,000 and it's things to do in Seattle at night. And it's 23, 23 is the keyword difficulty. So that's not bad at all. So this would be something that I could write about. So if I write my article in a certain way, I can get this to rank on Google. And I did a video that shows you how I write my articles to rank on Google, so I'm gonna put that in the description below. So after doing some research, now I know what I could write about, so I could plan a trip to Seattle. And what I would do, I would do different things at night and document it on my blog. Now you wanna think of this as a side hustle at first. 
Your full-time job is going to be funding this for you. And the idea is to get to the point where you will no longer need your full-time job, or it will at least just be an option if you want to work still. So how are you going to make money from this article? The answer is affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing is how I make the most money on my site. And it's my absolute favorite way to make money. Now, in a nutshell, affiliate marketing is when you refer a product or a service to someone using a unique referral link. If they make a purchase using your referral link, you would get a commission. Let me give you an example. Now, if I had a travel blog, I would sign up for travel payouts because they are the only travel focused partnership platform that has over a hundred affiliate programs like booking.com, TripAdvisor, GetYourGuide, RentalCars.com, and just a ton more. So what I would do is sign up for travel payouts and then I would go up to their programs once signed in and I would look at the different programs that they have and just scrolling down, I would try and see which ones make sense for my article. Now I was doing this a little research before this video and I saw that Get Your Guide would be a great opportunity for this. Now what Get Your Guide is, is basically it's a platform used for booking tours, excursions, and other travel activities around the world. Now this would be perfect for my article because if people are looking for things to do at night, I could use Get Your Guide in my article for any tours or activities that they have available. So what I would do first is I would go to Get Your Guide right now and I would just put in Seattle to see if they have anything in there. So I see that they have like underground walking tour and some things that I could include in my article. So say for example, I included this walking tour in my article. This is a cool thing to do at night. So if they actually clicked on this, booked the tour, I will earn a commission for that. And the chances of someone actually clicking on one of these tours is very high because they are actually looking on Google for what to do in Seattle at night. So they are want something to do. And if they see this, they click on it, make it to book a tour, I made a commission. So I go back to travel payouts, go to details to get your guide. And then I'd read the affiliate program description and then I accept the terms and then I would join it. And then what I would do is go through the process and then get my unique referral link so I can use that link every single time that I mention something from Get Your Guide. And side note here guys, Travel Payouts is the only affiliate platform that I know that actually gives you $25 just for signing up. So be sure to register with my link below so you guys can take advantage of this today because I don't know how long they're gonna give this offer. All right, this is just one example I could use to monetize my blog. If I'm showing up high in the search results on Google for things to do in Seattle at night, I could show local places that and offer them to pay a monthly fee to be in my article. Now I do that right now on my website and this one company pays me $1,500 a month just to be on my website because I have their targeted audience's attention. Now it would take you some time to get to that point, but it's just nice to know what your options are. And I also have this really good article just to show you different ways that you could use Get Your Guide for different affiliate opportunities. So I'm gonna put that in the description below because that's gonna be another helpful article for you just to figure out how you can monetize Get Your Guide in your travel blog. Now another way to use affiliate marketing is by using social media. So you could do a reel or a TikTok video showing video footage of your trip to Seattle. And you could leave the caption saying, oh my gosh, best trip ever, and it only cost me $500 or whatever. And you can say, I wrote about how I did it on my blog, check the link in my bio. Now that could lead them to another blog article you wrote, breaking down your whole entire trip and the cost. So if they click on any of your affiliate links, you gotta earn a commission from just writing about your experience. So before you book that trip, I would see what affiliate programs Travel Payout has just so I could use them. So I could say, oh, I use Cheapo Air to book my flight. I could use Booking.com, Agata, or TripAdvisor to book my hotel room, my rental car. I could use Get Your Guide to book any tours and excursions. Just honestly, the list can go on and on. So I recommend just taking some time to look at the programs they have and seeing what you could write about. And as your blog grows, you can put ads on your website to monetize it and make a nice passive income there as well. Searching for keywords is the hard part, but it's necessary. And when you find the right keywords, you need to take advantage of that and write the very best article on the internet concerning that topic. So you can rank in the search results in the number one or number two spot. So you wanna try and get the ones that are easy to rank for. It's gonna be hard to find, but they are out there. And I have a video that I did to show you how I do my keyword research, and this is how I've been able to make over 100,000 page views every single month just from figuring out how to find out what people are searching for on Google. So I'm gonna put that video in the description below so you guys can check it out. Okay, so did that all make sense? Are you guys ready to get started? Leave a comment in the comment section below saying, yup, I'm going to blank. 
and let it be the place that you want to go to the most. So I'll know that you actually stick around until the end of this video. Mine would be Hawaii. All right, thanks for watching guys. And if you want to further understand how I would build this into a six figure website, check this video out here right now. And don't forget your $25 to travel payouts. All right, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.